Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Mimi here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this really cute Shopkins pocket letter. I actually made this to swap with my friend, uh, Crafty Island Girl is her name on Instagram. I'll be sure to put her link down below because I think there's a few numbers at the end, but I don't have it pulled up right now. So I'll put her link in the description box so you guys can go check her out because she is super sweet and she sent me a really, really pretty pocket letter and you guys will be able to see that on her page. So make sure you go check her out. But I made this to give to her. Um, I really wasn't sure what I was going to make because we didn't... Uh, like start out with a theme so I decided that I would use these Shopkin stickers which I got from Hobby Lobby during their I, I think they might still have the clearance sale thing going on but I bought these maybe a month or two ago I have the haul um, so I'm gonna have it linked up in the card so you guys can check that out if you want to see but I hauled these stickers and I knew right when I bought them that I wanted to use them for a pocket letter and I thought since I didn't really know what to do for this one this would be a perfect time to use these stickers so for this pocket letter, I used all the bright and happy colors that Shopkins have in all their things. Like, if you guys don't know what Shopkins are, they're little tiny collectible, like, I don't know if they're squishy or if they're, like, plastic hard things. But they're really cute. They're just, like, everyday objects, things you'd find in the grocery store. And, um, I don't know, they're really cute and I thought these stickers were really cute, like I said, so that's why I used them. And to bring in all of those happy colors, I used this, like, shredded paper. Like, you know how you just rip the edge of papers? You guys just saw me do it. But I did that on all of the pockets over this pink paper because the pink is, like, a very Shopkins color. Like, all the stickers had pink in them, so that's why I used that as the base. And then I used the bright happy colors on the rest of the pockets with the shredded paper just because I wanted to make them pop and have something different in each pocket but something also cohesive. Does that make sense? I don't really know. But you can see in that middle pocket there, I made it a shaker. And in Inside that shaker I put sprinkles and then I also added some um, little like glitter pieces. They're hard stars and then like stars with the insides cut out in different colors and it's really pretty. You guys will be able to see it more up close in the final pictures but I really like how it came out and I think that little detail made it really like, I don't know, it just made the pocket letter seem not so boring and bland. This strip of flower paper is actually, I just showed you the package, it's from Doodlebugs I think. My Aunt Nancy got them at Tuesday morning for me and they're really cute. It comes with um, like these, this flower one, a bigger flower one, like a zigzag thing and they're really nice to put onto some of these pocket letters cut down and trim. It's kind of like adding those gems on the first pocket but just something different so it's not too many gems and too much bling, you know what I mean? I like using this like ripped paper technique on all my projects a lot because it helps me use up my scraps. I have a ton of scraps. If you guys didn't see my craft room tour video, make sure you go check it out. But you can see the drawer set that I keep all of my scraps in and it's insane. I have so many scraps and I need to get using them up. So I like to use like techniques that will use my scraps and I don't have to necessarily cut new paper. But yeah, I really don't have much to say on this pocket letter guys. I don't want to keep saying the same things over and over again because you guys have seen me make pocket letters and flip books before. Um, so I don't want to sit here and tell you all the techniques I do in every single video, same thing over and over again. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this music play out with the music in the background. Hopefully you guys don't mind, but I think you'll probably like the music better than my redundant speaking. <laughs> so if you guys haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post every Tuesday and Thursday and then sometimes I post in between. Um, so you definitely want to subscribe so you know when I post. And then um, if you could give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you guys do to get those projects that are giving you a hard time done because like I already said this project like I did not know what I wanted to do on it so what are your little tips and tricks that you do to make your projects finally come together and make them look like they're not so crazy you know what I mean <laughs> but anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you make something of your own because crafting is really fun and I love getting to inspire people to start crafting again even if you don't like what I make maybe you get that bug to make something you know what I mean and I'm gonna just leave here so I'll see you guys in the next video bye